All right, folks, we are back with more Toronto Blue Jays franchise. And in today's broadcast, we are going to be taking on the San Diego Padres. They have Michael Waka going for them. They are Waka is 11 3, 322 ERA. We have Jose Barrios, 4 1 3, 5 5 ERA. We are 54 and 40. The Padres clean at 56 and 38. And right now, in the division, we are six and a half games behind the New York Yankees, who sit at 61 34. But they have not been doing so, uh, too terribly well in their last uh, over the last ten games, just five and five. Whereas we have won eight of our last ten, and we'll see if we can keep up that hot streak uh, in today's game here. And this is also going to be a special game here in Toronto because our U.S. trade acquisition Joey Votto will be making his Blue Jays debut in this one. He is going to be our designated hitter today. And he will bat in the seventh spot in the lineup. So here's how the Padres line up. They've got Bogarts, Azucar, Soto, Machado, Carpenter, Cronenworth, Angle, Nola, and Hassan Kim. There's a look at the full numbers there for our starting pitchers today. And uh, this is actually the first uh, episode of this I'm recording following the uh, patch that came out uh, a couple of days ago. And even though the patch didn't really make specific mention of this, I'm pretty sure it fixed the uh, crashing that was happening when using the uh, regional theme because. <clears throat> The last couple days or so, I've been able to play some games on my save file that I have on my Switch OLED uh, using the regional theme, and it did not crash. All right, Rios making his 10th start of the season. Here we go. And down goes Bogarts. Jose Azokar digs in now. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Did he trip? What happened? Sniper? Now Maul is second base on the first two way. And here is Juan Soto batting 317 on the year. Ground ball to second, and we go to the bottom of the first inning, a 1-2-3 for Jose Barrios. <clears throat> so let's see how we do against Michael Walker, who is starting for the 19th time this season. Alright, so Leo to draw in a walk to start off, and here is Whit Merrifield. <coughs> There's a strikeout. And up steps Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's ripped into the gap. And Leota is going to score. It is a one to nothing lead for the Blue Jays on an RBI double by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Up steps Bo Bichette. Coming in batting 279. And that's going to get through. And Guerrero will stop at third. So we've got men on the corners now with one out. Ground ball, diving stop at short to second for one on the first double play, and that ends the inning. 
but the Blue Jays get one run on the board and we go to the second. And we walk Machado. It's Matt Carpenter. Is Cronenworth? So a foul ball makes it one and two. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan, right? And a swing and a miss down on strikes. That's out number two. The batter now is Adam Engel. Bounce to the left. Ground ball, and we go to the bottom of the second inning. Swing. Yes. All right, here comes Joey Votto. His first at bat is a Blue Jay. He is in a 285 on the season. And Votto, of course, is wearing number 19, and there's a fly ball out. Two away. Oh, that is clobber to left, and that is going to be a Springer Dinger to make it 2 to nothing. George Springer leaves the yard. His 18th home run of the season, and they add on. It's 2 nothing. That cutter low and away can be a really tough pitch. You have to stay within your mechanics and trust that you can get good work to it. Oh, he did right there. Really nice swing, and he was rewarded for it. Any chance to hit here? And Jansen to left, that's gone. And it's 3 0. <clears throat> Danny Jansen hits one out. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 3 0. Back to back Jackson. This club is fired up right now, boo. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow. <sighs> can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Base hit. Ground ball the middle. That's a base hit. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Now Just kept it simple. Second. Played pepper with the middle of the Wait. infield and took it back where it Wait. came from. And there's just no one there to Wait. knock it down. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. And that's going to be a stolen this base. Great jump. Two outs and one in scoring position. Late on that fastball. That's back. That's gonna hit the fence, and that's also gonna bring home another run. It is four to nothing. Nothing Blue Jays as we head into the third inning. In the air, left field down the line. 
show. Brings it in with a nice running grab. One down, base is empty. On the ground to first, Guerrero takes it to the back. And a couple of quick outs. Here's Xander Bogarts. He's all for one. And he grounds one to the right side. And we'll head to the bottom of the third. He's over to Guerrero. Bogarts retired. Back here at the ballpark. And now Bobachet. Ugh, base hit for Bichette. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. So a man aboard. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything. And that's going to be a double play. And that's two. That's important. He go one, two, three here. Will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And now it's going to be a and we go to the fourth inning. And good work there. Start of the fourth. Now here is Jose Azokar. <sighs> Fights it off. You'll see another. Stays alive. The one, two. Down on strikes, one away. Definitely made a chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Chris Juan Soto is one of the best young hitters we've seen come along in a long time. Of course, helped the Nationals to win the World Series in 2019, and he won the batting title at 351 in that short 2020 season. Got him looking. Back to back strikeouts. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And now it's Benny Machado. And, and Machado clobbers this to left. That is gone. Number 29 on the year for Manny Machado. Uh, fun fact, he recently became the uh, first player to be ejected from a game for arguing a pitch clock violation. And yes, the uh, pitch clock is new. It's one of the new things in baseball this year. Just in case he's been uh, living under a rock for the last little while. So, San Diego's first hit of the game is a long ball. And up steps Matt Carpenter. And a foul ball. And a pitch. That's down and in. There's a swing and a try. That's back there. Springer is under that. We go to the bottom of the fourth. All right, Votto, let's try again. Oh, that is crushed. And there is Joey's first home run as a Toronto Blue Jay. It is five to one. He's already homered here in this one. Out to short. Bogart fields it cleanly. Slings All right, there's the second out. Back to the top of the lineup. And here is number 35. Now 
outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. This one in the air right field. Angle on the move to his left. Holds it in. All right, we go to the fifth. And the inning is over. Toronto extends the lead on the solo. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in. Here's Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. Now fly ball to right center. Grab. Nice and grab there, Leota. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome. It seems like within the third or fourth pitch, of just about every at bat. So digging is Adam Engel. Adam Engel. That's hard hit in the line. And there's two down. Two outs, bases empty. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Austin Nolan. He's over one. And we hit the bottom of the fifth inning. Right by his bat. Back here at Rogers Center, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Jays, with Merrifield. Out towards right center field. Puts it away for the out. And now the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Now I'm on the third. Machado picks it up, gets it down, and throws the first. Well, after the fifth inning, moving along, two quick outs. So two down now, and here is Obashet. Next offering is in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. It's Seth Lugo getting ready for the Padres. Getting loose out there. Swinging. Nothing to do it for the Blue Jays. They're up 5 1. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Stepping in for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Fought off foul. You know, these Padres, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Guerrero takes it himself. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. All right, Bogart's up. Sander Bogart's. And that one is lifted in the air. Springer there makes the catch. Bogart's retired. And there's two away. The 1-1. One, one. Out front and foul to the left side. This one popped up. And we'll head to the bottom of the sixth. And that is that. Back down for the bottom of the sixth. Alright, Seth Lugo in now for San Diego. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit for any pitch so far this season. Swing and a bouncer. Again with the throw to first. Put up one down. Dalton Varsho will hit next. There's over two with a pair of strikeouts. In the air, left side. Solo gets under it. Squeezes two away. Out. Number two. And the batter now is Joey Votto. He's already homered in this game. Left hand batter waits. Up the middle. There's a hit for Votto. He is two for three. And that keeps the inning going. Tiny on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball into the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying it off. And the pitch. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's the inning. Blue Jays held in check. They lead this one, though, five. Top of inning number seven. So digging in now for San Diego. Juan Soto. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. Ground ball, two away. away. Chapman over to first in time. Machado out of the play. Fastball group right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Now just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Grand ball, we go to the bottom of the seventh. That ends the frame. Bottom of the inning. Here's the Toronto catcher, Danny Jansen. Now before the 1 1, time is called. The line of the pitch. Right, base it. So oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just <sighs> got great wood on it. Great for me. Oh, I think I might go to sleep after I'm done uh, recording this particular game because I'm uh, getting a bit sleepy. Guerrero towards center, that will drop, and that will be his second RBI of the game. It's now seven to one. They're at the corners now. There's still only one away. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, Nabil Frisman. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit for inning. Here's Matt Chapman. Base hit for Chapman. Another run comes home, it's 8 1 Blue Jays. Three runs on the board for the Blue Jays here in the sixth fitting, and Varsho's going to walk to the low of the bases. Or seventh fitting, excuse me, seventh fitting. Ground ball, that's going to get through to the right side. And that brings home two more. It's ten to one. Popped up. Makes a nice running catch. And there's two away. So first and second with two outs. And here is Danny Jansen. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And down on strike. And Jansen swing way too early there in the inning. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. We got a big lead to work with. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. One away. Adam Engel now in the plate. Adam. Ground ball left side. That takes care of Engel. Next for the Padres, Austin Nola. Of course, little bro Aaron, one of the top starters. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. And that's out of the bottom of the eighth. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, number 35.
All right, we scored five last inning. Hard hit, right side. Now the throw to first on the run. He's one up, one down. So up next for Toronto with Merrifield. So they're making the move for a bat off the bench. Gavin Biggio, one out, the base is empty for him. Next offering is in for a strike. And two away. And Guerrero is set down. That's out number two. Man at first. Obashet gets a chance to hit. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Biggio, the runner at first with two gone. All right, go to the ninth. Staying in the game on defense, Kevin Biggio, Chad Green ready to go. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Rolled over to third. Fires over to Guerrero, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. So the batting order turns over, and here comes Sander Bogarts. Check swing, go appeal. Bogarts, who wears that number two? Oh, now this and Bogarts hammers this to center field. It's going to be a nine to two game, a ten to two game. Excuse me. And there's a base hit for Juan Soto. Alright, and the Blue Jays win it 10 to 2. All right, let's see. Where do I want to sim up to next? Okay, it's the minor leagues. So that's fine. I guess that's whatever.
let's enter this one here, try to close this out with Romano. Taking on the, uh, the LA Dodgers in this critical situation, and they are overpowered. So taking in Austin Barnes. All right, they have a runner at second base. There's one out. Alright, we win it 5 4. Alright, so this particular sim, we were down 4 1 after 7, and we scored 4 runs in the top of the 8th. Oh, that is not good. Al Manoa, shoulder tear, one to two months. That is not good. That is one of our best pitchers. We kind of need him. Starting pitcher. As they got the win in extra innings over the Orioles, seven to three in the standings. The Orioles sit in last place in the American League East Division, and the Yankees are atop the division. Randy Arozarena played in five on the day with two big flies as the Rays took down the Astros six to two. He is in the top five in the American League at stolen bases. Entering the day's action, the Astros sit in first place in the American League West Division, while the Rays are in third place in the AL East. Mitch Hanniger went deep twice as the Giants beat the Red Sox 4-1. to one. He is among the National League leaders in home runs. Heading into the day, the Giants are in third place in the NL West, while the Red Sox, Kendall Graveman, collected win number three this year as the Shy Sox got the win over the Guardians 3-2. to two. As of right now, the White Sox sit in third place in the American League Central, and the Guardians are second in the division. The Twins completed a three-game series sweep as they beat the Royals in Kauffman Stadium 6-3. As of today, the Royals are in third place in the AL Central, while the Twins are atop the division. The Milwaukee Brewers pounded out 17 hits in this one as they beat the Braves in Atlanta 12-11. Entering today's action, the Braves sit in first place in the... All right, we'll give you... All right, Anaheim, we'll give you Antigua and Montgomery for Patrick Sandoval. Oh, I forgot to set that to uh, manual. Well, thankfully, it's the computer is not doing any trades that I don't want it to do. So. 
Anyway, yeah, there we go. Ooh, the Braves want to give us Orlando Arcia. For Kevin Kiermeyer. Uh, let's see. That's not too bad of an offer. I mean, it would clear up some more room, but I am not looking to trade Kevin Kiermeyer. Let's try and sign uh, our draft picks. The trade deadline has come and gone. Here's a recap of what happened on and off the field yesterday. Starting in the AL East, the Toronto Blue Jays got 11 Oh, unless it does uh, sign my, thing, my draft picks already. Carlos Rodon fell short of the shutout but pitched into the ninth inning, not allowing any runs, helping lead the Yankees to a win over the Rays, 4 to nothing. He is among the AL leaders in wins. Diego Castillo won his fourth game thus far, leading the Mariners over the Red Sox 3-2. The Cleveland Guardians totaled 13 hits as a team as they got a win over the Astros in Houston 5-3. Okay, there we go. The Angels went deep four times as they pulverized the Braves 6-0. The Miami Marlins combined for a four-hitter as they... All right, let's view our draft picks. Let's see what we have. Matthew Telshaw. This is your Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Looking first at the American League East, the Baltimore Orioles allow only five hits in the game as they beat the Blue Jays in Toronto. Three nothing. Let's take a look here. Any generational talents? The Guardians got Dana Aquino at 74 overall already. Wow. That is pretty good. Put together 10 total hits as they got the best of the visiting Mets 4 to 3. The Guardians racked up 11 hits as a team as they blasted the Astros 7 1. Mark Fortenberry. 75 overall right out of the shoot. That's actually not too bad. He looks like he'd probably be ready to go uh, next year. The Atlanta Braves launched three home runs as they defeated the visiting Angels 6 to 4. Philadelphia Phillies wrapped 13 hits in the game as they manhandled the Marlins 7 to nothing. The Brewers knocked out 12 hits as a team as they took down the Nationals in Washington 6 to 3. The Reds got 11 hits overall as they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley Field 5 to 1. Spencer Turnbull earned the victory which was his 10th on the year as the Tigers downed the Pirates 3 to 2. The St. Louis Cardinals sent 3 balls into the seats as they grabbed the win over the visiting Twins 8-6. The Padres swung it well with 15 hits in the game as they took care of the Rocks in Colorado, 8-6. The Dodgers hit three long balls as they grabbed the win against the visiting athletics. 39 overall Rondo Norman, yeah. That guy looks like he is a project. They took down the visiting Diamondbacks, 5 to nothing. And that's what's happening around the baseball world heading into today. Join us again tomorrow for the latest from around Major League Baseball. Okay, I don't like this draft had any uh, generational talents in it. Alright, so, I think for our next broadcast, we'll head to Cincinnati to take on the Reds and see how Joey Votto does uh, in back in Cincinnati as a member of the Blue Jays. See you then.